So in the first part we play only three chords. And the first one is G sharp minor from the fourth fret. Then to a C sharp minor. And then a G major. And back to the G sharp minor. So it's like this. One, two, three, four. In this next part, we simply follow the G-sharp minor pentatonic scale. And I start with my ring finger on the 6th fret of the G string. And it's like this. So basically, you just play the scale from G sharp to B, G sharp, F sharp, and then you play D sharp and back to F sharp and back to G sharp. So you get play that three times this is not three this is three three times and then uh, after the third time you pause pause and then you hit this one the last two notes of the G sharp minor chord so you just play a little sm a small bar chord and you get like on the fourth fret with the E and bass string only. So you get. And this you play twice. This next part is the main riff, so it's only three notes. And without the tremolo picking, you only have the G sharp note, then the B on the A string, and then the F sharp on the sixth string, and then back to G sharp on the sixth string. So basically, it's like this one, two, three, four. without tremolo picking. Now if we add another thing that it does, like the slide, the surface sliding in thing, which is this. I slide in from the third to the fourth fret on the sixth string, on the, on the E string. So you get this. If you add the tremolo picking, you get this. I'll do it slowly. And then it's the same thing. We just jump one string, jump down one string, and we get. So it's the same pattern basically. You just play on the on the on the A string, you play which is a C sharp, and then you play an E, the D string, and a B on the A string. So 
So it's like fourth fret on the A string, second fret on the D string, second fret on the A string, and back to fourth fret on the A string. Then it's back to this one again. And then we play this. Which is simply... This is a B major chord. To an A sharp chord. And we pause. Again. But this time, this time instead we play C sharp major, back to B, and A sharp. All major chords. So we get on the third time. And the last one, this one is a G, G sharp ma uh, minor. So I play it again. So this is like the chorus. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have like some kind of... It's the main riff, but a little more... It's a little fancier more melodic and basically this is also the G sharp minor but it's not the pentatonic really it's like more the natural minor scale so this is what he plays without without the tremolo picking he plays on the 13th fret I start here. So, basically. And when he gets here, he plays this little chord. And he plays it like this. Like five times, he plays the broken chord from the highest note to the lowest. So you get this. And of course, you have to add the tremolo picking. And now, <clears throat> the last part of this is on the 14th fret of the B string. Then he bends the 14th fret, the 14th fret on the E string, but just a little bit, not too much, not like just like a simple quarter band or something. place like this so it's basically 
you have also a, a, a hammer on and pull off here. So we have a hammer on and pull off here. And you get this. first one again. And this is what it sounds like if you played with a tremolo picking. simply and the higher one is and then you go to chord part in the chorus and then to C sharp major and this is basically it for this song which I love very much and I heard that he plays it with a Marshall amp on one of the recordings and I really I never thought I'd, I'd say that but that Marshall amp serves so damn good otherwise I've already used a bass man if I'm not mistaken subscribe Prang a bugger out